Today I'm gonna give you some tips how to ride electric scooter. Doesn't matter what brand, what kind of electric scooter do you drive, my tips will help you to drive much safer or increase your range and it might prolong the lifetime of your scooter. But actually with some tips it will not My tips will help you ride safer, but when you try to learn new things, you might eventually crash, injure yourself or damage your scooter. So you do it at your own risk. I recommend you wear a helmet and protective gear when you're learning new stuff. Let's get started! Tip number one will show you where exactly do you need to stand. You don't want to stand right here on your scooter. You don't want to be standing in front of your scooter. You actually want to be standing more towards the back. I'm not saying you need to stand like at the very, very edge here. Your feet position has a massive impact on your weight distribution on the scooter. If you hit a small bump or hit the brakes very strong and stand on the back of the scooter, there will be not enough force to throw you over the bars. On the back of my scooter and hitting those brakes. Now if you stand next to the steering bar and hit the brakes hard, there is a good chance you will go over the bars and smash your face onto the pavement. Yeah. As you can see, this is what you don't want to have. Tip number two. If you are going over the bars, let your scooter go and try to land on your feet. Normally humans don't let them go until they finally reach the ground with their face, so don't do that. Let it go, drop the scooter, jump off on your feet. If you can't, you will go on your face. That's not good. Tip number three. Even if you're standing in the very front, even if you're going to hit the object, if you feel it's a sketchy situation, if you don't know what's gonna happen, what you can always do is you can always move your body weight backwards by moving your hips down and, and, and back. Despite where you're standing on your scooter, bringing your body weight backwards and your hips down will save you from going over the bar. Actually, in some cases, if you see the curb is coming and you won't be able to stop, you can even lift your front wheel up to avoid the hit entirely. Right? Don't overdo it. You will go backwards. And wear a helmet. Shouldn't ride without helmet. Never ride without helmet. I don't recommend jumping with those scooters because they have batteries and motors that have contact plates that might get disengaged and it might simply stop riding. But if you're about to hit some hard obstacle, jump might be better than just hitting or smashing into something. Tip number four, steering and turning. I will refer to, to this movement as steering. But you also steer your scooter by banking. Like a motorcycle, like a bicycle, like anything on two wheels. The faster you go, the more you will have to lean to the side in order to perform a turn. So it's steering and leaning. It will sound completely ridiculous, but if you want to quickly turn right, first you need to turn left. So if you want to turn right, you have to steer a little bit left. What it will do, when I'm turning my handlebar left, it will lean my scooter towards the right side. This is called counter steering and I have learned it while riding motorcycles. It works for bicycles, motorcycles and everything else that's on two wheels. As you can see in this video, I'm steering right, leaning left and then quickly steering left. It allows me to avoid unexpected obstacle in a very fast way. You just need to go and give it a try. Just be sure to wear a helmet and stay safe. Tip number five. Try to lean together with a scooter when you make turns. Not only scooter is leaning, but you with your feet you are leaning as well. If you only lean your scooter, but don't lean yourself, your scooter will keep going straight. This technique might be quite helpful if you want to turn around in the spot when you're going really, really slow, but not when you drive fast. 
Tip number six. Second most common crash, which is really actually hard to save if it's happening, is when your front tire slips while you're leaning. What's happening is you, you lean towards the turn and then your front tire loses the grip and then the scooter disappears from underneath you and then most probably you, your face will meet the ground again. If you're looking for any kind of dark spots on the, on the surface which can be greasy, you're also looking for wood like here. So if you have like wood planks and they are wet, they are slippery as ice. You're looking for sand, you're looking for gravel, you're looking for small rocks, you're looking for grass. Any of those surfaces won't hold your front wheel as well as a normal kind of road. There are two main ways to avoid this type of crashing. You can reduce your speed, so you need to lean less. And second one is you try to straighten up your scooter just before the suspicious surface, so you are not leaned at all. If, it, if you are slipping, your only chance if you can just let your scooter go and try run it out. But if you're going, if you used my advice on Xiaomi M365 firmware upgrade and your scooter now is riding like 30 35 kilometers an hour, you can't run that fast. It's proven so many times by me and my friends. You can't run 35. Give it a try, you will see. So as I said before, reduce your speed, try not to lean on the slippery surface, or you can... You need to perform all your braking just before you go into the turn. Then release your brakes and accelerate through the turn when you go up. The worst thing you can do is to hit the brakes while you lean inside the turn. Therefore, you need to brake before the turn and accelerate through the turn, reducing the chances of the front tire of slipping. Standing more towards the back of your scooter will also make sure that there is less pressure on the front tire and there is less chance it will slip on a slippery surface. Brake right now, release the brakes, accelerate through the turn. Tip number seven. Don't grab those handlebars and move them back and forth as you drive. If you look at this scooter, it has more than 300 kilometers now and there is no play in this place, you know, and I don't have this rubber gasket that everyone is putting in here. Because when I ride my scooter, I am not relying too much on my handlebars. I see people standing on their scooters like that and this is so hard to control or steer. It's much easier to stand on your scooter having your legs like 45 to 90 degrees. And then when you ride it, you steer your scooter or lean your scooter with your feet. The same when accelerating and braking. Don't just pull on it and don't just rely on pushing the bars when you brake. Try and stay standing on your feet and see if you can control it. Take your handlebars really lightly. <laughs> Tip number eight. People often ask me, what's the best way to increase your battery life? Number one is actually inflate your tire. This tire can be inflated max to 50 PSI when it's cold. And this is what you are aiming for. Sacrificing comfort, but you're increasing the the range by reducing rolling resistance. Second way to save battery is to actually use the free rolling. If you switch off the kinetic energy recovery system, then your scooter will be simply rolling and not braking with the engine when you are not accelerating. You can save lots of battery by just free rolling in some places when you know you're about to turn or you're about to brake or you're about to come to a full stop. It's way before you do that, you release your cruise control and just free roll to that place so you don't basically need to use brakes. So I'm going full speed and what I'm going to do right now is press the accelerator again and let it go. And now I'm free rolling and just take a look of how far and how actually still fast I can free roll without using neither brakes, neither motor. So I'm just free rolling right now. until I come to my stop. 
I hope you enjoyed my video and if you did hit the button right here so you will subscribe to my channel and you will see more videos about scooters, bicycles, BMX, cars driving on the road and f***ing up my audio. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next one. You will meet <laughs> Tip number whatever. <laughs>